Somebody asked, is it possible to run Android on a Mac? So I said, it's possible. It all just depends on the hardware. I'm Martin Noble. Let's go and get started. Okay, so now I'm going to be booting Android on my uh, new MacBook Air. And so I'm just going to turn it on and boot via the USB. It turns on. I'm going to go straight to the one that says, as you can see, EFI boot. So that's the one that I'm choosing. And now it's giving me this a few sections. I'm going to be choosing the live Android session. I do not want to install it. I just want to do the live session. So I'm just going to press enter. It's going to take a few moments to load, so in this case, I'll just wait. Okay, so now Android is on, and it's a, it teaches you that just some basic things like make yourself at home, you can pull your favorite apps. I'm just, and then it's more like a live session on a USB, so. You can add widgets as you can see and I'm also going to add some other widgets such as calendar so these are all the widgets from one side and then we got about five and then we got some apps over here in fact the graphics is really good in this case and we also have the main, what I would say, the home buttons, just like on every single Android tablet and certain phones. So now I'm gonna go on to the apps. We got many apps here, such as entertainment games and the basics like calculator, camera, music, terminal, downloads lots so I'm going to go on the one that's called let's see what we have I'll just do the clock so the time is 538 going back to the home page and going back into the menu I'm going to be changing the background of it now so far as I know Wi-Fi Bluetooth and Ethernet do not work. So try it, Wi-Fi turning on, doesn't work. Bluetooth turns on, just automatically turns off, and Ethernet, actually no, Ethernet does work, but Wi-Fi and Bluetooth doesn't work. Sound, I wanna see if sound does work. No, it doesn't. So if the sound doesn't work either, so there's literally many flaws in it for, but I'm not sure if there's that many flaws on a tablet. So I'm now going to need to change the brightness so I can change it and it will just follow up. So I just keep it at a certain, now I'm going to change my wallpaper to one of the live ones. It's called the Nexus. So that's the Nexus wallpaper I'm just going to set it, and now this is the home screen. And if you hold down control command and power, you lock the device as you can see. And I'm just going to click on the lock or actually no, you need to click the lock and then hold out of it and then you can. Now I'm going to put in a pattern lock, see if that works. Yep, it works. Now I'm just going to lock the computer again. Sometimes it's hard on a computer to, it'd be much better if it's done on a tablet. I want to try it on Microsoft Surface one day. 
on the new Surface Pros. Since Wi-Fi doesn't work, the browser just says web page not available. And you can do refresh all the basics. I'm going to go back to the menu. And let's see what the calculator does. So I'm going to do 9 plus 10. So that now equals 19. I'd be surprised if anyone said 21. We go back to the home screen. Now you can do Google search, which I'm just not going to do since I have no internet. I can go through certain apps just like from this there. I'll see if how the terminal works. So I'm just going to do a close up on the terminal. Let's make it. Okay, so now let's do who am I? Doesn't work. LS shows all the main in the round disk. The CD. It's like a basic Unix shell or something like that, as you can see. Very small. Not that basic, but still would comply with my terms. So, security, all the security works, but there's also another flaw. Once the screen goes dark, it does not come back. So, I'm just going to change the screen lock. And then, I am going to turn off the computer. But you need to do a hard shutdown. So I'm just going to turn it off. And then after that, you literally cannot turn it back on without doing a hard reset. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments on Android, leave it below. My name is, as you know, Martin Noble. Thanks for watching. See you guys in my next video.